Windows 11 is all I ever known, but I keep hearing about Zorin OS, the Linux distro that doesn't make you learn Linux, at least if you are coming from Windows. And it sounds too good to be true, right? So I'm testing it myself. If you want to see how it goes, hit that like button and subscribe and let's install this thing. Now here I'm on the live ISO. Let's click here English and select here install Zorin OS. Now here for the keyboard layout, I will select English US and then here let's click on continue. And here we have updates and other software. I will select download updates while installing Zorin OS. Then we have install third party software for graphics and Wi-Fi hardware and additional media formats. I will leave this one enabled. And then here we have don't participate in the census. The census lets the Zorin developers count the number of users anonymously and I will click here to don't participate. So let's click here on continue and here it also started to prepare Ubuntu drivers. And now here we have the installation type. This computer currently has no detected operating systems. What would you like to do? Erase disk and install Zorin OS and now we can also go here and click on install now. And then here I'm going to type in London and select here London, England, United Kingdom. And let's click here on continue. And here for my name, I will enter tech enthusiast. And here I will change require my password to log in to log in automatically. And now for a password, I will just type in here zero and let's click here continue. And right now it started to install Zorin OS. So here we are inside Zorin OS 18 and here we have the welcome tour of Zorin OS 18. I will click here on no thanks. On the first glance, it looks super similar to Windows 11, but also looks very similar to the Chrome OS as well. Now let's go here to this Zorin logo in the bottom left corner. And here we have this start menu, which is inspired by Windows 11, of course. And here we have the applications. And then if I click here on all applications, we have all of the apps right here. Now let's go here on the bottom right corner where the Windows 11 has Windows system tray. But here we have this and you can see here that these are pretty much the desktops and they look quite nice to be honest. And then if I click here, we will open this menu. This menu looks really inspired by the Chrome OS and here we have the screenshot tool. So we can take a screenshot, for example, just like this. And then here we have the internet, we have the power mode options, dark styles. So this is the dark style on Zorin OS 18 and also the wallpaper changes with the dark mode. And let's take a look here at the start menu in the dark mode. So it looks like this. And now let's also see what happens if I click here on the power mode. So if I click here, we have the power saver mode enabled. And if I disable it, we have the balanced mode enabled. And we can also change the volume right here. We can lock the computer and we can also shut down it from here. Now, if I click on this clock here and also the date, we have this really slick widget for the date and also the notifications. And down below, we can also enable do not disturb mode. Now, I do like this way more compared to the Windows 11. It looks way more nicer UI than the Windows 11 one. And now let's also try to customize here Zorin OS. Now, one thing which I would like to check first if it correctly detected here the graphic driver and if our desktop is in the right resolutions. If we go here to the display settings, we have here the resolution of 1920 by 1080, which is correct. Also, the refresh rate is set to 60, which is also correct. Now, the settings here look quite nice. On top, we have the network settings. Then we have the Bluetooth displays. We have sound and also the power where I guess we can switch from different power modes. So we can see balance and power saver. Then we have the multitasking and also the appearance. Now, to configure here Zorin 18 even further, we have an app called Zorin Appearance. And we can click this to open the Appearance app. And here we have a different options to customize the Zorin Appearance. But first let's here change to one really cool wallpaper because here I see that Zorin OS indeed does have some really cool wallpapers. For example, let's go with this one right here. 
Now, this one already looks pretty cool. And now let's go here to the Zorin Appearance app to customize it even further. So here we have the layout options and this is set by default. And if I click here on this one, it will make here the taskbar a little bit smaller. And now if I click here on the start menu, we have the same size of the start menu, but we can also try this one right here. Now, this one looks pretty cool. Here we have the icons in the middle of the taskbar. And here on the left, we have this button to show all of the applications on the computer. And it shows here in this really cool app grid. As you can see, we have a lot of the apps installed on Zorin OS. And then on top here, we have this different desktops as well. Now let's try this last one as well. It's inspired by Fedora or Genome. And uh, this one shows should have this really nice dock at the bottom. So now when I click on the Windows key, it opens here this desktop and here on the right we have another one. And down below here we have this really cool dock which looks super clean. Now let's go back here to the Zorin Appearance app and down below here we can also get more desktop layouts by upgrading to Zorin OS Pro. Now among these four layouts, I think I do prefer this one right here. This one looks super cool and it has also the icons here in the middle as I said before and it also has here this really cool show apps button where it shows all of the applications and then here we have the theme options and we can change here from dark to light and if I click on other we have here this really cool cursor option so if you watched my previous video about Fedora I struggled a lot to install a custom cursor but here we have this cursor option built inside Zorin OS and we can for example click on this one and right now I have this really really cool new cursor and we can also change here the applications icon so by default it's set to this one so Adwaita and then here we have the dark option and the icons are also here so Adwaita high color and high contrast now if we go here under the effects we have enable animations option we have this really cool feature icon desktops and if I toggle this off the icons should be disabled this is also really cool because you can also by default add the desktop icons straight to your desktop, which is not available, unfortunately, inside Fedora. But here in Zorin OS, it's easily doable. Now, if you want, you can also customize here the taskbar. You can pretty much click on this. And here it will open this program where you can change the panel style. For example, you can change the margin. You cannot even change the border radius. And then here you can also change the position, which I think it's super cool. So panel monitor position, you can change this to top, left, right. So a lot of the customization options are actually built inside here Zorin OS definitely more than in Fedora and also Windows 11. Now default browser on this distro is Brave browser and you can see it here in the taskbar and now let's also try to add some of the icons to my desktop so if I go here to all apps we can for example right click here on the settings and here we have this option add to desktop so let's see what will happen here if I go back to the desktop and here we have this icon. It's much easier to do this than Fedora, for example, where I needed to install some of the extensions and third party programs to actually be able to add some of the applications on my desktop. This is pretty cool. And now let's also see if we can install some third party software without a hassle. So if I go here, for example, to this software application, we have this app where we can install pretty much a lot of the applications, but let's try to install Firefox Fox on this distro. So if I go here on this loop, we can search for Firefox. And here we have the Firefox browser, fast, private, safe web browser. Let's click here on it. And let's click here on install. And now let's also try to install Helium browser from the internet and not the software store. So here, if I search for Helium browser, let's click here. And now we can go here to this website. And now let's click here, download Helium. And here I'm going to select my downloads folder and select save. And now let's click here, show in folder. And now here inside this file explorer or files app here on Zorin OS 18, we can click here on app image of the Helium browser and see how to pretty much install it. If it's very similar to the one from Windows or Dora, which is very complicated. And now here it says Helium app image is an unknown package. 
I will click here run anyway. And just like this, we have Helium browser running here on Zorin OS 18. Way easier installation than Fedora. And if you want to check out my Fedora video, I will also put a link for it in the video description down below. Let's also see here if it has this really cool edge snapping. And here you can see that it has this very similar animation to Windows. And it also has the suggestions here on top. So this is pretty much the Zorin OS 18. And I think it's a great distro for Windows 11 users. It's super easy to navigate, to use, and also to install new applications. It's straightforward. You can either go to the software application or you can also install it just like you would on Windows. Go to the website and download the installer from there and install it on your computer. Now, Zorin OS has also some of the advantages because it's way more customized than Windows 11. Now the only drawback of this Zorin OS 18 is that it's a Linux and not every single Windows compatible program will work here on this distro or any distro. So yeah, pretty much I will leave a link for it in the video description down below. And if you're interested about my Fedora video, I will also put a link for it down below as well. Now, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like down below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I will see you all around in the next one.